Hello, I'm Loon June, and in today's video, I will be basically be commentating on my pre recorded gameplay of Combo Scope Lunar. Now, I watched Power Tops Combo Lunar Scope. How should I call it? Combo Scope Lunar? Scopo Lunar. I'm just gonna call it Scopo Lunar. Um, I watched the Scopo Lunar and the clutch he made with that dick. I was very impressed. I was very, I was very impressed, and I wanted to give it a shot. I played like, uh, I played three games with it, and all of them were pretty successful. But like the first two games were all like round four games, you know, round five games. Um, but this one, I actually get to Death Wave and I actually see how strong sc combo Scopo Lunar is. So I know um, this deck is like very popular now. Like I know that a lot of people use it. I sometimes see it in the leaderboard as well, and um, and a lot of Koreans play it because of because of a uh, Power Tops video. But as a celebration to me, me personally getting class 11 combo and lunar, I just wanted to give it a shot, and it worked out pretty well. I still am nowhere near on um, a master at this deck, but I feel like I can show you guys like some tips and stuff and like my all throughout my process of thinking and what to do my decision making and everything um and yeah this is pretty much um I'm still brand new to this whole deck remember you do need blessings on the board um this is max level of blessings uh so combo I have a 35% chance of getting and for scope I only have 5% of 5% chance of getting because it's minus 15%. So yeah, so right off the bat, my opponent is has a uh, grow grow yang grow yang, and um, I was excited because the first two games were, as I said, only like wave five games, wave four or five, and they were all like one was assassin, no what no one was like guardian, but he couldn't you know survive, and the other one was ix and. Yeah, I don't I don't like playing against IX. I still won all three games, but that wasn't very long enough to show and make a commentary. Now, I kind of made a mistake here. Um, I waited too long, so I'm pretty sure you're supposed to start merging just combo um combo itself pretty much to basically survive round one. But I instead was waiting for mimic and i think that was um, my main issue i was like yeah i'm definitely gonna survive round one if i get this many combos and but but look at this i'm like already struggling so one thing you should be um careful of is um you need to survive the first like three rounds if you if you survive the first three rounds and without any incidents or accidents or any issues pretty much with your board you should be fine. You should be fine. And also be aware with Leon's as well. So yeah. And also you guys can notice me putting scope at um the worst spot possible. Um because well combo it makes sense. Combo you need a lot of combos to get combo. Um Bimic to help with the combo. Joker to for all, you know. Joker is just Joker, you know. <laughs> and lunar for lunar activation but scope dead last because um i feel like scope scope is definitely necessary scope is one of the things that if you don't have on your board you will lose but at the end of the day all of the rest like all four dice other than scope they're more important than scope so yeah and also right now i'm just kind of randomly merging there's no decision making here. I'm trying to like keep my lunar alive, thinking of the worst ways possible as well. Always, always think of like situations where you will not get like a specific dice. You know, always calculate in that in your head, like pretty much, like oh if I do this, if I merge this with this, will I still keep my lunar activation or you know stuff like that. And also you guys can see me um clearing out space. I have six spaces left on the board this way um leon only downgrades four not five um i think i shared this tip quite a lot uh, through all throughout my uh videos but yeah 
if if your board is on an odd number like pretty much like if you have odd number dices for example seven dices i'm sorry dice for for example seven um if you have seven it'll only downgrade three so you get the one extra benefit or something um and yeah that's pretty much it for the leon tip um and also don't leave any one pips i wasn't sure if i could you know one shot kill pretty much insta kill it so i just kind of merged all the one pips and also was looking out for the the odd number and there goes my battery <laughs> um so yeah my opponent is doing fine not the greatest because it, it is grow yang if he instead brought like i don't know something else it would have been tough for me but um thankfully he brought grow yang so there weren't any interference with my board um and yeah so we got the lunar activation and then i just chill because um well i don't want to spawn anymore right you know and i'm so i know i and honestly i'm stuttering right now but i was honestly surprised that i could kill leon that fast because i was like yeah i'm gonna get hit by leon that's why like i had two tiles left and i tried to merge all the one pips and stuff but i was able to kill leon one shot so I got a little bit of confidence here. Um, this is when I was like, oh, okay, I, I do deal like quite a bit of damage. And you guys can see the damage difference between um, damage, damage difference, you know, compared to like Lunar Off and Lunar On. And yeah, I can barely speak today. <laughs> so yeah, I was very fortunate enough to get a three pip scope. In this deck, a two pip scope really helps. One pip, not so much, but a two pip, it actually helps so much. Like, it's so reliable. Currently, the one the one that's dealing all the damage is that two pip, um, getting buffed by both a two pip lunar and a three pip scope. That's dealing all the damage right now. Um, and for bosses, yeah, as you guys can see, I barely crit at all. If I just crit, like, once or twice, I could just insta-kill it. But because I couldn't crit that you know several times i think i crit like what once right you know it took a long time so it's it really requires rng but most of the time you know you will get your crit together so yeah see the difference between um lunar activation and no lunar it's pretty huge um i was at this point i was like worrying about my sp as well because remember if you don't have sp you're dead and also don't don't get board locked, please. <laughs> That's another way to screw yourself. Anyway, I was I was fortunate enough to get a four pip scope. Um, this really comes in handy. Um, later on, this four pip scope, I'm pretty sure, helps me survive or something. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely good. Um, scope. You barely get scope, so don't always merge it. Like for example, you got like a two pip scope. Leave it there. Like. Because you never know when you're when you're gonna get scope again, you know. You might never see it in the game, you know. Because five percent is a very low chance. If you guys tell me. All right. So, um, what I was thinking here was I will start building up my board and you know increase my combo count once I can spawn a r approximately ten dice. So for example, so I have like five hundred ish it was 500 before 500 um sp per spawn it requires 500 sp per spawn i waited for 5000 um roughly 5000 you know so that i could spawn maybe like eight or nine or seven or eight seven eight nine you know pretty much that way it's basically like solar um i think i told you guys about this um the the times 10 sp rule um, it really helps. It also helps with Solar. It also helps with um, Royang in the past. It also helps here as well. Uh, why? Because um, if you have 10 times the SP, you know, then what you know, then you what you can spawn pretty much. Right now I have 640, so you should have at least like 6,000, right? That really helps in like difficult situations, and also night. I mean, magician kind of just. You know, I was like, 
what should I say? I wasn't worried, but like, I was kind of like, odd. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember. This was like a few hours ago. Um, I don't really remember what exactly I was thinking, but I'm pretty sure I was like, huh, so I, so bosses still can't hit me, you know, it still can. So I don't want night to ruin my board, right? I already have a four pip scope. And as long as I can keep that four pip scope, I can like do some crazy stuff, right? So I was trying to build up my combo as much as I can this, um, this round so that I don't get hit by night. Because it, because I know if night if night hits the five percent of my scope spawn, um, it'll still. I can't I can't talk today. But what I was trying to say is, I know that night won't give won't give me this four pip scope again. So I tried to keep it alive by just insta killing the night and you know trying not to, you know, pretty much fail. And surprisingly, I got a five pip scope. I don't think I use that scope very much. I use it here, but then remember, the one that's dealing the most damage right now is the 4-pip and the 3-pip getting buffed by both 4-pip Lunar and also the 3-pip scope. So the 5-pip <laughs> all the way like all the way to the to the left, I mean the right, the 5-pip scope is barely doing anything. It's also buffing like one 4-pip. So yeah. Again, I'm saving SP because my Lunar is activated, plus it now takes 980 SP to spawn. So, yeah, I just kind of just wait, you know, saving SP. I don't want to get in a situation where my Lunar is off, I don't have enough damage, I um don't have SP, so I can't reenact, uh, reenact? I can't reactivate um my Lunars, so yeah. I think I should have said activate, but whatever. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I insta killed that magician and from now at this point of, of the game You can safely say that uh, You you will get to late game. You are going to go to um the late games um, with, with ease pretty much and I don't know what my opponent did my opponent just merged like the crit spots for some reason That's why Grow Yang is bad currently. Um guys don't use Grow Yang. It's it sucks So it looks like my opponent's gonna die this round he actually doesn't. Um, uh, he actually survives this round, which is kind of cool, and which, which honestly really helps me because I wanted a long game. Remember, I played two games before this, and they were all kind of meh, right? You know, not worth you know a, a commentary over. And yeah, as you guys can see, I'm I'm absolutely chill. I my damage is not lacking at all, like. Even though I only have a 4 pip, it still deals massive amounts of damage. Obviously, this won't be a thing later on in the death waves, but definitely, um, it really helps. It really helps as of right now. A 4 pip, it, no, a 4 pip still deals massive amounts of damage, you know? So we go into the death wave, um, and I'm... Honestly, not really scared because I know for a fact that I can still insta kill this Leon. Can't I actually can't speak? Um. So yeah, and again, I have more SP than I I can like pretty much. I have like I had like fifteen thousand SP, so I just start building my board. Um, trying to increase my combo as much as possible. Trying to also keep my Lunar at the same time because. Once my lunar um deactivates. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah. I wasn't sure about those four pip mimics. I wasn't I was trying to be careful. But I think what I should have done is I don't actually remember what I do, but I'm pretty sure I merged the two mimics. But I feel like I should have um merged the four pip next to the five pip uh scope. That way, um Besides, it's not even doing that much, you know. All the damage is again coming from the the left side, not the right side. So yeah, my opponent gets hit by Leon. I don't. I yeah, and I pretty much got lazy because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna win anyway, you know. I <laughs> I don't really want to play the game anymore. I was just sitting there, you know, and I was still like thinking, oh. Mm. 
Um, guys, whatever I just did, don't do that. Um, <laughs> so I merged the left side, the combo, the four pip combo on the left side. I should have done it on the right side so that you know it's a lot closer and it's gonna be a lot safe. But again, the spawn rate of combo is 35%. That I don't care, I absolutely don't care. I, it's it still spawned a 5 pip for me, so I was very happy with that. And again, I got lazy even though I have all the SP in the world. And yeah. One thing I could give a tip out is um obviously the 10 times SP rule. Um second, I think SP management is key. Again, using the 10 times SP method, you can really survive. And also, guys, look at slime bots die. Slime boss just gets destroyed. <laughs> like, I was shocked here. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, slime boss absolutely gets destroyed. I was, I was surprised. I was, you know. I think that was like the highlight of this game. <laughs> just me destroying slime boss, you know, without a, without a trace, you know. Anyhow, I think I will rate this deck. Um, a hmm. I think I'll rate it like uh 7.5 out of 10 because um this deck very weak against um assassin. Very, 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 very weak against assassin, I think. Hypersyn especially, because um you have two dice that don't attack. And it's all combo. Combo is already weak early game. But you know, with Assassin, it's it just, you just can't survive, you know. And my opponent, you know, showing good sportsmanship, I obviously take it. Um, I don't really use emotes, but if people, like, show expressions and stuff, I also use it. Because I think it's cute. I think it's honestly cute. Anyway, that's the whole video. Um, I am sorry for this bad live commentary, but I look forward to using this deck more. Um, it's very fun. I honestly don't care about my trophies. I don't care about winning personally. I just, I, just, I honestly just try random decks now in PvP. Like, I would just look at my Discord server. And then, like, if people, like, are writing, Oh, you know, I, you know, this deck is pretty fun to play. Uh, you know, I reached, like, what, like, 15 win streak or something. I sometimes try, I sometimes play the deck. You know, either on my alt account or my main, I don't care. I don't care about PvP. I absolutely... If you guys want me to play something, you guys can just ask. But I'll determine whether it's a video worth... A deck worth a video or not, you know. If it's fun, I'll probably, I'll probably make it. Or if it's, like, good, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Special thanks to, um... Actually, not special. Indirectly inspiring me to make this video. Power Top. Thank you so much for the video. I recommend. I highly recommend you guys watching that video. Honestly, it was one of the best videos that I've seen about random dice. So yeah, one of the best clutches as well. It was very entertaining. Anyway, thanks for watching. And leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.